Hello, in this video I'll be showing how you can use a potential divider circuit in order to use a non-ohmic device such as, in this case, light dependent resistor or a thermistor as a sensor. So this is a potential divider circuit. I've connected to a power supply two resistors. One fixed resistor here, which actually is a variable resistor that I'm just not going to touch and one light dependent resistor. If I cover that up, the resistance of the light dependent resistor will increase because the more light shines on it, the lower the resistance is and vice versa. In order to use this as a sensor, we need some way of measuring that resistance. Now you can set up a multimeter as a resistance ohm meter, but the more typical way of doing it is to use a voltmeter. So if we connect a voltmeter in parallel with the LDR, the voltage across the LDR will be proportional to the resistance of the LDR. This sounds counterintuitive at first, but it's because uh, the higher the resistance, the more energy is being lost across it, so the, more, the higher the voltage, the higher the potential difference dropped across it. So you can see here, with light shining normally on, on the LDR, it's about 1.5 volts. If I cover up the LDR with my thumb, the resistance increases and therefore the voltage increases to 3.25 volts. If I shine a bright light on the LDR, the resistance drops and the voltage drops. What if I want the voltmeter reading to increase when the light level increases. Well, that's very simple. Instead of having the voltmeter across the LDR, we connect it across the fixed resistance. We try that again. If I cover up the LDR, now the voltage, now measured across the fixed resistance, drops. Or if I shine a bright light on the LDR, the resistance across it decreases so the voltage across the other resistor increases. So we now have a circuit where the voltage output is proportional to the light level shining on the LDR. A similar arrangement can be used with a thermistor. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.